Dr. William Cairns always knew he wanted to be a medical doctor, yeah. even yeah. at a very yeah. young age. But I had two formative experiences growing up by the time I was 18. One was I met uh, a mentor, who my first mentor, who was a uh, surgeon, chair of surgery, president of the American Cancer Society, who really was a pioneer in tumor immunology. So as early as the 1970s, he was advising me to study immunology. I'm, I'll never forget him saying, there are a lot of gold nuggets that are gonna be uncovered in immunology. And as you know, we're, we're uncovering a lot of those now. The second thing that happened when I was a freshman uh, at Duke University as an undergrad, the, the nerdy pre-med uh, picked on by this wild and crazy engineering student. One day, just before Thanksgiving, he told me, he, he wanted me to look at his foot because it had a lump on it. And of course, I was the pre-med, and he said, no, I just want you to look. And I can still see a golf ball sized lump on his foot. I made him promise me he would get it seen over Thanksgiving, which he did. It was a sarcoma. He was out the next semester. He came back in the fall after treatment, looked good for a while, then developed abdominal pain, had diffuse uh, spread of the cancer, and stayed in our dormitory till about two weeks before he died. And that really had me thinking about cancer, the whys. Why did he get that? Why didn't I get it at that time? And so forth. So early uh, interest in medicine and surgery, and then by the time I was 18, really uh, a, a a committed career for cancer. I've, I've always leveraged my access to human tissue and just to be able to study the real cancers from the patients and uh, have combined that into a clinical scientific career as I've moved forward. Arizona was intriguing to me for two reasons. Uh, one, they uh, have partners, clinical partners in the private nonprofit world, which I believe is uh, a very powerful, a very well-run, well-managed uh, clinical unit that, that gives very good care to patients. And the University of Arizona has a tremendous reputation as a cancer center, the first cancer center in the Mountain States. Dr. Kans has a solid message to cancer patients and loved ones. There is hope, research, and clinical trials here in Phoenix and with collaborators all around the world. It's very important for particularly for more advanced cancers like stage four pancreas, that patients consider all the treatment options. We're getting better and better at treating cancer. We're getting more innovative, more powerful drugs. We're understanding how the immune system works. We're attacking the cancers at the various sites that make them grow. The other thing that I believe is important in addition to the clinical trials is a multidisciplinary approach where you have group meetings that discuss a patient with medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, surgical oncologists, nurses, uh, uh, patient navigators, support system, social workers, and you review cases with your pathologist, your, your radiologist, so everything is looked at as one group because you frequently come up with a different approach or uh, different ways of, of looking at things. Uh, so, so Complex cases reviewed in a multidisciplinary forum, I, I really encourage. And that is exactly what is happening right here in Phoenix. Whenever one of my patients wants a second opinion, I'm like, great, that's terrific. Because one of two things happens. Either they find a better way than what I'm going to do, to, than my plan, or they come back and say, you know, you're right, I'm, that's exactly where I should be, I'm, I'm, I'm more comfortable now. So second opinions are, are really good. Everything has to be patient-centered. It's all about the patient. That's all that matters. That diagnosis of cancer changes a patient's life forever. I've never had that told to me. I don't understand what they go through. I can only imagine. But that is a life-changing word when they're told that that's what you have. So everything has to focus on the patient. The University of Arizona is making headway with liver cancer. There's a lot more liver cancer in Arizona than in a lot of places. So uh, it's one that we pay close attention to. It's also very prevalent in our Native American populations. So liver cancer has been extremely difficult to treat. Very early stages can be treated with surgery or even liver transplant. But once it gets to be advanced or metastatic, so it's spread beyond the liver, very little, little uh, treatment, serafinib, is a drug that, that, was, get, that gave the best uh, uh, results, but that was only a five to 10% response rate. 
recently a combination of an immunotherapeutic and a vascular drug, antivascular drug. The combination gave, a, gave very promising results in early stage trials where over 60% of patients had significant response. We've never seen that in liver cancer. So we opened a trial here that actually com compared the two. Um, it, it was a, a trial opened at, other, at two other sites within the state. Um, it accrued worldwide very quickly because it was the first time we've, we've had therapy for liver cancer. So what is the role of clinical trials for the future of medical treatments? I think clinical trials are very important and because that's the only way we can get to the newer drugs. I think the challenge will be, number one, getting drugs to patients more quickly, and number two, designing trials to get answers more quickly and in a less expensive way. The problem is it takes a long time to develop, implement, a clinical trial and it takes a lot of money to pay for it. The bioscience workforce is thriving here. Phoenix has one of the fastest growing workforces of its type in the U.S. according to national research. In April 2019 alone, more than 10,500 new jobs were created in scientific and technical positions in the Valley compared to a year earlier. You need to have hope you need to explore the options, and so when you get that diagnosis, and your which, it, which changes your life, no matter what stage, it changes your life. But particularly with an advanced diagnosis, seek different options. See if there are trials out there, and then make your best decision with your doctor's advice and with what resonates the most to you. Because it's all about you as a patient. It's all about that patient. It's, they're at the center of what we do.